you should get your parents to lift weights. Dr. Pack here, back with another video. For some reason, I am Omar Isif with the intro. So Omar Isif here, back with another video. Yes, I've gained a bit of weight. I have indeed gotten bald, and now instead of the goatee, I have this very nice beard. And I am also super jacked, nice tattoos, nice watch, and overall top guy. Subscribe to the new Omar Isif channel, Dr. Pack, real doctor, alter ego, you know the deal. Free the guys, repping the six all day long. So, getting your parents to lift weights is a message that I want to get out there as it is very dear to me and it's something that I feel a lot of you may benefit from. Now, most of us love our parents and we want to see them live long but also age gracefully. As you've seen from previous videos, being healthy is not rocket science. Uh, lifting for up to 60 minutes a week and doing some form of physical activity, that's more than enough for you to, to tick most if not all boxes as far as health is concerned. That's relatively easy for those of you that watch this channel and have been lifting and have been active for some time. However, for our parents, especially those coming from a generation where lifting was not one of those training modalities that was promoted for general health. It was, you know, the thing that either athletes did or those that wanted to sculpt a physique did. Um, for those parents, getting them to buy into lifting, I think, comes with a host of benefits and does not require the time commitment or the effort that most assume it does. Lifting comes with a host of benefits for reducing the risk of all-cause mortality, increasing your bone mineral density, making it less likely for you to suffer from fractures if you fall, and at the same time allows you to maintain function while aging. As you get older, you will start atrophying. When that happens and you keep neglecting it, there comes a point where it may be too late to obviously reverse all the damage that has been done, but it's never too late to still start and reap some of the benefits of lifting. So getting our parents to lift is about them lifting enough so that they can have a high quality of life, so that they are able to stand, walk, pick up things, and in general, feel able and strong, not feel fragile and not feel like, ah, my back hurts or my elbow hurts and I cannot do this and I cannot do that and now I need help walking and so on and so forth. It's not like we want them to become champion powerlifters, although, it would be cool. It is by no means necessary to have a monster deadlift in order to reap the health benefits of exercise. So as it stands, we know that any amount of resistance training can lead to approximately 14% less uh, chance of you dying from any sort of cause. And at the same time, we had done a study where we looked at thousands and thousands of participants from a gym in the Netherlands. Essentially, their business model is 20 minutes of resistance exercise per week. The individual data that we looked at were from people that were around their mid 40s, early 50s, and were recreationally active individuals who just went to that facility and lifted weights for 20 minutes per week. Keep in mind, we had data for over 14,000 participants and for a period over seven years. And um, with just 20 minutes per week, those individuals were able to increase their strength substantially. We're talking um, 20 to 30% at least over baseline for the first year. And then they were able to maintain that while slightly increasing it for the remaining seven years. Keep in mind that those were individuals that were aging as well. So maintaining their uh, strength and, uh, and also slightly increasing it is very positive. Keep in mind that they specifically did a single set on five to six exercises, depending on the day, to absolute failure with the help of a trainer which is something that not everybody can afford or has access to. And that level of effort may be a slight barrier to entry for some of your parents who may not be, you know, iron addicts like us and are used to pushing themselves to their limit. However, the good news is that even if your parents were to start by doing a few very basic exercises with some resistance, even their own body weight, without necessarily going all out or to failure, even that, at least for some time, will be able to give them some of the benefits of resistance training and definitely allow them to maintain their function and age gracefully up to a certain extent. But let's look at how you can get your parents to lift realistically. Now, the first 
step in my opinion would be to get them some form of equipment to have at home i have personally bought my mother a few kettlebells of different weight and i have asked her to do some kettlebell deadlifts that i have shown her and are very easy to learn much easier than learning the deadlift with the bar doing them a few times throughout her day like exercise snacks i've told her hey if you have time between your work take the five minutes grab the kettlebell do a slight warm-up and then do a set of some reps until you start getting a bit tired. Leave it and do that later. If you have time for you know, an actual session where you do three to four consecutive sets, that's even better. The other thing that you could get your parents to have at home is a set of push-up handles so that they can be more comfortable with doing push-ups, which I think are a great bodyweight exercise, especially at home, uh, that we can get our parents to do without the necessity for help or other weight. The addition of a couple of dumbbells, or even better, adjustable dumbbells, then makes uh, an at-home intervention even easier and gives you so many different options. So showing your parents a few basic exercises they can do with dumbbells, like again, maybe a Romanian deadlift with dumbbells or the kettlebell that I've mentioned, a few shoulder presses, maybe some floor presses, some overhead tricep extension, some curls, some bent over rows, either with the support of a chair or simply just by, you know, bending over and rowing the dumbbells themselves. All of those, although not, you know, enough for an amazing Ronnie Coleman style workout, <laughs> will be more than enough for your parents. That said, if the at-home intervention is something that you would rather skip or is not an option, or you know that your parents will not stick to that, Taking them to a gym or a leisure center is an even better way at allowing them to get many, if not all of the health benefits of resistance training with minimal time commitment and not that much of a learning curve. So instead of trying to force your parents to barbell squat or deadlift, getting them to do just machine-based work or at least primarily machine work where you get your parents to sit on a leg press a leg extension and leg curl um, a lat pull down a chest supported machine row a chest press a shoulder press i would also include some form of work for the lower back either in the form of a hyper extension or um, a lower back machine and that's literally it doing those exercises and getting your parents to lift through a full range of motion while also teaching them that, hey, over time, this needs to get harder, stay somewhere between eight to 20 reps, depending on what feels most comfortable for them. That sort of setup is going to be a game-changing setup for their muscle and strength gains. Doing things that are easy for them to do, that will get them to actually buy into the process, comes in clutch. You don't want to force your parents to learn the low bar squat or the barbell bench press, unless, they enjoy doing that. Getting them to lift is your main priority. And even if they end up doing three of those exercises, just one for their legs and two for their upper body, that is still much more than doing absolutely nothing. So to recap, get your parents to lift. Either start them is easy with some at-home interventions or get them in the gym with you. Show them a basic machine-based exercises to get them warm to the idea of lifting. Get them to slowly learn how to push their lifts harder and harder. Get them to understand that, hey, even if they were to go just 20 minutes per week to the gym and do some lifting, they will be looking at a ton of dividends as far as their, their health goes. And most importantly, guilt trip them by saying, hey, I need you to be strong and it doesn't make sense for you to not do this because it's so little work and you're going to get so much from it. And then essentially do what they did to you as a kid and see them be like, huh, the student has now become the master. They'll give you that sort of reaction or beat you or disown you. But hey ho, who cares? They don't even lift. You don't want to be their kid anyways. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching. I hope more parents out there lift. I hope you get your parents to lift. And we will see you at the Parents Who Lift competition, Dr. Pack sponsored 2027, where we get our parents to fight and actually see for the first time ever in history, if my parents can beat your parents and so on and so forth. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your parents to pick up the phone when I call them. It's not actually a scam. It's more like a pyramid scheme, but pyramids are good. Just. Tell me the damn credit card number. I don't know who you are. Trust me, I am a doctor. I know better. Thank you for watching. Peace.